Today, we're talking about huge drama in the donut world and how a Long Island vegan market exposed a local bakery on Instagram after receiving a gluten-free donut that didn't seem to be the real deal. This was followed by defensive DMs from the baker, which were proven to be lies after a series of comparisons and tests. And I've pulled together the entire story. So by the end, you can get caught up on all of the details surrounding the most controversial donut in New York. But if it's your first time here, hi, I'm Austin. I make videos staying caught up with the latest internet drama and news, so if that sounds like your thing, feel free to stick around. I just started a second channel called Anti-Austin, and over there, I'll be covering shorter, more fun stories, kind of like the donut drama today. So subscribe to either channel if you want to catch the next story. And even if you don't subscribe, thank you so much for watching. Today's story was sent to me by Dell on TikTok and Cassie on Instagram. If you ever come across a story you think I should cover, feel free to DM me it on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now, let's just get into it. The story begins with Cindy Snacks on Instagram, a vegan market on Long Island in New York, and they offer donuts on Saturdays and Sundays, which get sourced from local bakeries. In an Instagram post, which we'll talk about more later, Cindy Snacks explains that on Friday, February 23rd, the owner of a local bakery called The Savory Fig dropped off some gluten-free baked goods that Cindy Snacks had ordered. And in the middle of the box was this donut that seemed a little different from the others. In the caption, they write, I, John, immediately became concerned as to why this one donut was decorated differently than all the others, and in such a strikingly similar way to a recognizable chain. I pulled all of the items delivered out of our racks immediately and stored them in the back out of precaution, until I could confirm what was or wasn't happening here. It's wild to me that they didn't even try to pick out a good-looking Dunkin' Donut to pass off as their own. But to be fair, maybe this is the best looking donut that Duncan had that day. After this, John and Cindy text the Savory Fig owner named Michelle, and they send her a photo of the alleged Dunkin' Donut, saying, Hey, I in no way mean to insult you or question your products, but this donut was in the box with the strawberry frosted. These are definitely Little D sprinkles, ones Dunkin' Donuts uses even the same colors as the Dunkin' logo. If these are Dunkin' Donuts, the ingredients could kill somebody, as we have so many people with severe dairy allergies that shop here. I'm concerned with the donuts this week and am nervous to put them out. I will keep this conversation between us, but please tell me the truth. I don't want to kill anybody with a severe allergy. And quickly after, Michelle from The Savory Fig replied, These are definitely not Dunkin' Donuts. If you don't want to put them out, don't, but they are not Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, then please explain what the theme was here. The letter D? John and Cindy replied to Michelle, I don't mean to insult you, and I hope I didn't, but you have to understand the concern. Could you show me the sprinkle container you have that had the Ds? I just don't understand why that would be something you would have or put on one donut. With Michelle saying, I could send you the picture later. I made a bunch of donuts for someone's birthday. Yeah, I'm failing to see how it's any better to tell your customer that you gave them leftover food from some other event. But John and Cindy come back saying, Okay, I'm really not trying to insult you, and I really don't believe you would do that. I'm just really off-put by these sprinkles, as I've seen these at Dunkin' before. Michelle says, I would never do that. And they reply, I don't think you would. It was just a weird thing to see. And I felt it my responsibility as a business owner to ask. I appreciate you being willing to calm my nerves by sharing the picture of them. And Michelle only comes across more suspicious by replying, I can't write, I'm not home. If you don't want to put them out, I get it, but I would never do that. With John and Cindy wrapping up, the day is over now, so no worries. If you can buy tomorrow before we open, that would make me feel a lot better about this. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. And the next day, Michelle sends over an Amazon screenshot of the sprinkles she claims to have used for the donut, with the message, Hi John, I'm still out in Montauk visiting my boyfriend. I won't be back till this afternoon. These are the sprinkles that I bought for the kid's birthday party. John and Cindy reply, Thank you for the picture, but this doesn't quell my fears. Do you happen to have a picture of the custom order? I'm sorry for asking, but I'm not seeing orange or pink DS in that container. I'm very concerned. After this, John and Cindy actually buy the sprinkles that Michelle claims to have used, 
But before we look at their direct comparison, I need to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor. Spring is right around the corner. And one of the best things about the season is how fresh everything smells. With all the brand new flowers and plants taking you on a mini smell adventure. Well, with today's sponsor, Scentbird, I get to experience this every single month. Because Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that lets you pick which designer fragrance you want to receive. For just $17 a month, you can choose from over 700 perfumes and colognes, giving you a 30-day supply in a spray-proof case. So you can try out fragrances from top brands before committing to a full-size bottle. This month, I received Elysium Owl Intense by Roja, which has a dark and woody scent. Dylan Blue Pour Homme by Versace, which has a fresh and floral type scent. And last but not least, Zer Icon Chrome, which has a light and citrus type scent. You can try out these fragrances for yourself or pick from hundreds of others by using my promo code AUSTIN for 55% off at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month, available in the US and Canada. Thank you to Scentbird for supporting the channel. Now, let's get back to today's story. After John and Cindy received the sprinkles that Michelle from The Savory Fig claims to have used, they directly compared it to the alleged Dunkin' Donut. And they found that the sprinkles from Amazon were way wider and not multicolored like the letters were on Michelle's donut. On top of this, Cindy Snacks points out that these aren't even vegan sprinkles. So just to be safe, they went ahead and did an at-home gluten test, which after going through all the steps and getting the results, John and Cindy explained that the test results as seen in slide four proved to us that at the very least, this donut and most likely all of her donuts contain substantial amounts of gluten. We can only assume, given this recognizable logo design, where these donuts really came from and what other ingredients they might contain. The next week on March 3rd, Cindy Snacks makes this post on Instagram, exposing the savory fig for lying about the non-vegan sprinkles and gluten-free donut. We've been reading some of the captions and images in the post, but at the end of the caption, they include, we have cut all personal and business ties with this person effective immediately. We are mortified that we provided any of her products to our customers and our own family. We trusted a well-known, highly recommended vegan and gluten-free baker who has claimed to be working as a pastry chef for over 15 years. There's a certain mutual trust and respect the vegan community especially small businesses, have amongst ourselves. We might all live differently, but we all have the same deep core values that consuming animal products is morally, ethically, and ecologically wrong. We are enraged that this trust and respect was broken and that we were unknowingly put in a position to perpetuate that betrayal. We want all of our customers and community to know we take this betrayal extremely seriously and are looking into legal action. We will update with any proceedings as they come. Most importantly, we want to apologize from the depths of our soul to anyone who unknowingly consumed these products. This is our nightmare come true, and none of you deserved this level of disgusting perjury. It's crazy that a vegan and gluten-free baker for over 15 years would lie so obviously about a Dunkin' Donut. Can't they just make another donut? They're literally a baker. However, following this, the Savory Fig has yet to release a response, and instead they deleted their Instagram. And two days later, on March 5th, this update was posted to Instagram by Cindy Snacks. We've contacted the supervisor at the Division of Food Safety and Inspection from New York Agriculture and Markets. He stated they will begin an investigation and will notify us of the results once it is complete. We also alerted Suffolk County Department of Health. We are waiting to hear back from them about the next step in the process. We are looking into several other avenues to ensure accountability is met for this situation. We want to make it clear that we came forward with this information to keep our community of local vegans and those with food allergies safe from future harm. We have seen our post and this story reach all over the country in TikTok and Reddit posts. And while we appreciate the support and concern for how serious this is, we are not interested in being viral. While we have received many requests to do so, will not be doing any interviews or giving any statements, locally or otherwise. 
We want to keep people safe and call out wrongdoings when we see them. We feel confident we have done that as best we could. So as of now, we still haven't heard the results of the investigation, but we can at least confirm that this is for sure a Dunkin' Donut. And that's pretty much the entire story behind the most controversial donut in New York and how a Long Island vegan market exposed a local bakery on Instagram after they tried to pass off a Dunkin' Donut as vegan and gluten-free, which was followed by lies and defensive DMs from the baker, along with an at-home gluten test that really set things to rest. But now that you know pretty much all of the details behind this story, I need to know, what do you think about everything? Please let me know that and anything I missed down in the comments. If you want to get caught up on even more internet drama and news, subscribe to catch the next story and check out any of my recent videos. Thank you again to Sunbird for sponsoring this video. Use this promo code or visit the link below to get 55% off at Sunbird. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. This was a shorter video just to get back into things after being on vacation last week. I missed a lot of crazy drama, but we have even more coming this week. So I'll see you in the next one.